Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to do a little unboxing of some Arteza items that I have received from them. Um, I'm very excited because Arteza has offered to do a giveaway through my channel. So, um, I'm just going to pull this out because it was just in this envelope. If uh, you enter to win um, this product from Arteza, you will get the metallic gouache colors. And gouache is a paint that is um, somewhere between watercolor and acrylic paint. And I am not an expert on gouache. Um, it, this is just what I have learned, that if you add uh, enough water, it behaves like watercolor or you can paint in it on um, paper or, you know, a piece of wood or whatever and it will be opaque like an acrylic type. Um, I, my understanding is it's a little more smooth when it's dry, um, less chalky like uh, acrylic tends to be a little bit chalky sometimes when it dries and this is supposed to be less like that. That's my understanding. I've never used it but I was super excited to give it a try and um, they offered to give one of these to one of my subscribers, which is awesome. So what you'll need to do for the giveaway is subscribe to my channel and like this video. You need to be 18 years or older, which is kind of always a rule um, for YouTube for this type of thing. So be 18, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Then you need to go over and subscribe to Arteza's YouTube channel, and this is the link. But it'll all be in the description box below this video. So if you can't remember what I told you, it'll be in the description box below this video. So you'll go over there, um, subscribe to their channel, leave a comment on Arteza's last video, and it says, see the pinned comment and simply answer a question in the comment section. Uh, leave a comment in this video as well and it has to be this video if you leave a comment in one of my other videos you won't be eligible because when I do the random generator I'll be using this video so if you comment on a different video your name won't go into the random generator um, leave a comment in this video stating that you followed all the requirements and mention your location to see if you're eligible for the giveaway so um, they want you to tell them you know where you're at so they know if you're even eligible for the giveaway because right now Arteza only ships to certain locations the giveaway will be open to a limited number of countries shipping to Hawaii, Mallorca, Puerto Rico, US Virgin Islands and Alaska as well as Las Palmas, Spain is not possible right now so um, just keep that in mind if you live in one of those places they're not going to be able to ship you this I don't have uh, the actual product here with me, so I'm not the one shipping it. Arteza will ship it after I do the random comment generator, pick a name, and uh, then I let them know who and your address and all that. So you'll give your address and that to me, then I will give it to them. So those are the rules, and like I said, it'll all be in the description box below this video. So a lot of times it'll say, like if it's on your computer, it'll say more information, um, and you click on that. Or if it's on your phone, a lot of times it's just a little kind of white gray arrow um, on the right hand side of your screen below the video screen that you click on and then all this information will come down and that's always a good place to look in everybody's videos if you have questions or want to know where they got something or you know all that type of stuff a lot of people will put that information in their description box so this will all be in there so this is very kind of Arteza I was you know blown away one that they send me things to try out but then they're also going to send um, some goodies to one of my subscribers. And I'm sorry about the glare, but I'm using my glass mat because we'll play a little bit with this gouache. So this set of gouache is the metallic gouache colors. So there's 12 colors, which you can see there, and it lists all the colors here. So there's some golds and brownish type colors, uh, reds, pinks, purples, blue, green, and gray. So that's kind of what um, this pack has in it and they all have because they're metallic they have a little bit of a glittery shine but they're not like glitter paint you know they're not like super over the top they um, gouache tends to dry looking matte 
not shiny and that's another difference between it and acrylic a lot of times you'll notice when your acrylics dry they look kind of shiny or glossy or whatever these are matte finish so um, that's what they'll look like they'll just have that little bit of metallic shine to them all right so let's i want to look at these because i haven't um i you know cut open the package just to see what's in there so that i know what i have you know when they ask what i've received or haven't received or whatever so come in a nice this is a nice uh, sturdy box and so these are the little the little palettes you could say of the paints and you can see that this goes from a pearl white down to a pearl bubble gum it says so a pink and then this one is from a pearl purple to a pearl nowhere nowhere which is like a uh, almost a black a very dark gray all right I probably said that wrong but anyways that is the paint and those are nice size tubes because my understanding is you don't need tons when you're using gouache it's um, you know like a little goes a long way kind of thing so this is these are nice size little tubes of paint um, I don't know if this is still the case but some people were saying that the labels on here don't match the paints on the inside and yeah that you know can be possible and I'm sure it's hard to come up with a kind of a metally label that will stick on there that's the exact color of the paint I don't I don't know but we'll play with the colors and see um, that one didn't look that off to me it might be a little bit different but you can make your own little palette that one seems to be pretty close as well or you know um, paint out all the colors so you know what colors you had kind of like we did with the uh, uh, watercolor markers and the fine line pens so you can do something similar to that and I haven't done that yet with any of this because I just I just received it and wanted to do the unboxing so these are their scrapbooks and you get two of these so turn it this way I thought it would be really fun to make one of these into kind of a, um, you know, a journal, basically. They have the black pages, but it would be fun to kind of collage and do um, some things to make it so you could write on the pages without a white marker, but you could definitely use like a white gel pen or something on the pages as well which would look really cool so they're a really nice um, thick cover on these and it's been stamped and says Arteza down there upside down so this would be really fun to you know uh, make a nice cover you could do a lot of things you could collage all over it you could paint it um, anything you do with like you know, we make stuff out of the cardboard boxes and that, or uh, cereal boxes. It's a similar idea, so you could cover it just about any way. I don't think I would really cover it with fabric. You could do some fabric stuff on here, uh, glue it down or whatever, but because it's got the ties already in it, it might be kind of tricky because you can't really, like, wrap it around the edge like you would if you were using, like, a cereal box or whatever. So... I might not do a whole lot with fabric with those, but you could definitely do some other things. And the paper in here is definitely a cardstock type, black cardstock. So, um, yeah, I just thought it would be really fun to put like some ledger pieces or old composition notebook uh, pieces of paper. You could even use, like, I have uh, the old paper digis. Um, and they have some, you know, planar spaces that you could, you know, put on there and then do a collage or a pocket or, I mean, you could do all sorts of stuff. And it might get kind of thick, but it does have these rings, so, you know, you've got a little expansion there. And you could, if you started to get just too, too crazy thick, you could um, tear out some of the pages if you didn't want as many as are in here. I didn't read on the box. I should check that and see if it says how many pages there are yeah so there's 40 sheets of that black um, cardstock type paper in there so that is quite a few so if you wanted to you know 
take some out and then you could use them to make pockets or journaling cards or you know whatever tags that kind of stuff so that would be another fun idea if it was starting to get to alligator mouth or something but yeah really super nice quality paper in there you could definitely do some mixed media type um work and paint you know and i think it would be all right you might get a little bit of warping but i don't think it would be too bad unless you were just using tons of water so um yeah those are really nice and it's just kind of a different direction for for a journal you know you could even do it this way it would be kind of fun just for something different and then you'd have you could use your eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper or whatever but anyway i will be um playing more with that on another day i'm not going to do that today but um these are very high quality i mean really nicely made these rings are not um, flimsy they would be fun to uh, tie all different ribbons onto to decorate it you know kind of almost like making a tassel but instead off of the rings of the the binding there so that would be fun and you can kind of see on this one there's a few dings in it from being stacked onto that one and i'm assuming this one probably has it too and then put in the box but i mean it's not a big deal they're just made a few little marks but really nice quality no you know bent corners or anything like that this is a really thick like chipboard cover on there so you could do a lot of things with that so anywho i thought we could play with some of the gouache because like i said i have never ever used gouache i don't you know i'm not like formally trained or any of that so this is just really me as a crafter trying out a new paint and i got these paint brushes at um hobby lobby and it was a set of 12 so you know i didn't i don't have anything super fancy but they're they can be used for watercolor acrylic tempura you know you can pretty much use these ones for anything they're nothing fancy so i just got a whole set of them so i just picked some different sizes and I have a cup of water. And what I really want to do is I have seen, um, I guess I don't have to put that on there on, on this. Um, some people do like, you know, the different colors all the way across this. And I thought that would be fun because then we can see all the different colors. So I think we'll start with the pearl white. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see, especially because I know there is a little bit of glare. So I apologize for that. I'm just going to put a tiny bit right there. I don't um, want too much. And just a tiny bit more than that. That probably won't even cover a line. So I can already see that this definitely looks like um, very pearly, like a pearl is what um, I would say about that. And I'm not going to add a lot of water for this. I will play a little bit over here with some water so you guys can see what happens. So this is going to be just the full paint mode here. And I'm just going to put it on here and you might be able to see it's a little iridescent looking, but it's not like super glittery like I was saying. You're not going to feel like you've got crazy glitter paint happening or something. I just kind of want to make a pretty good line. So I do need a little bit more than that. So it's, it's a little bit different, like thinner, I would say, than acrylic, for sure. And um, definitely smoother, texture-wise. So I just want kind of one corner of that. I'm just going to wash off my brush. I probably should get a towel. I just have a blue towel here. I can dry my brush off with. And we'll go on to this gold and see what that looks like. I 
would definitely say that looks gold. My brush nice and clean so I don't, I mean they'll mix a little here but that's fine. And I may not get all the colors, I don't know, because I didn't like measure and try to figure out how many colors I could get on here. I just wanted to play just a little so you guys could kind of see what they look like. And like I said, I'll be doing more with them coming up next week. I want to finish my bee journal. It's just about done. So, And then probably this week, like I said before, I may not be around a 10 because we're having my daughter's graduation, having a party this weekend for her, so I want to do some things. I need to get some decorations and food and all that good stuff. And I didn't plan ahead and make extra videos, so <laughs> just kind of out of luck. They make this look so easy, you know, you see that on Pinterest and they just But of course, it's going to take me forever Okay, and then we're going to do this pearly orange But at least you'll be able to see the colors this way I got way too much of that one That one um, seems to be like softer or something That gold was a little bit like thicker This seems to be softer And since um, gouache is an opaque paint, you can go over the top of other colors and cover them, which is definitely different than watercolor. I mean, I'm sure when you have it watered down a whole lot, it, you're not going to get the best coverage in the world, but that one was definitely smoother than the gold. This one is bronze. And this one feels a lot like the gold one, a little bit like thicker consistency. I probably should have chosen a bigger brush, but I don't really have a whole lot of them with that chiseled tip. Yeah, it, it is different than acrylic for sure, because I used to paint murals, so um, it behaves differently. I don't know how to describe how it's different, but it's I don't know. It just doesn't move maybe as easily, in my opinion. Of course I am just using little tiny dabs of it, but... Okay, this is the Pearl Scarlet. Like I said, if I had a bigger brush, I'm sure it would go on much better. I haven't painted really much in years, so a lot of my stuff has gone away. You know, it gets used up and, you know, the kids were using it for a while. and <laughs> So so that's definitely a um, more of a magenta type color, maybe, I would say, or like a lipstick kind of a color. And lipstick. So I add just a little water. I just want to see if it moves a little easier. Yeah, that definitely helps. And see where I went over it changed that color entirely to like a orchid type color. Alright, we're gonna go to pearl bubblegum. See what that looks like. Definitely a lighter pink. Look at my water, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's um, all pearly and swirly. Look at that. That was cool. 
I would say definitely more of a pearl than a glittery effect on these. Definitely works better with a little bit of water. So that's good to know. And we have a pearl purple. Definitely more opaque than watercolor because even when you add water, it's um, still more coverage, more, you know, you can't see through it as well. Okay. Now we have a pearl aqua blue. This is so fun that you guys are going to get a set of these because they're really cool. And I have some ideas, so um, we'll definitely be playing with it more than just this. Yeah, it's very smooth paint, like extremely. Now we have pearl emerald green and definitely not what I would consider an emerald color um, but it is pearly so of course that's going to make it lighter. It's almost the color of the uh, washi tape. eucalyptus so definitely falling in more of that olivey kind of color of green oh well, there was a little bit of the emerald left so this is not going to be as true to color as it would have been by itself but you can definitely see it's more of a sage type of color. Then we have this silver. So we've got silver and gold. That's very this one, oops, this one seems more translucent, but it goes on opaque, so it's crazy. And then we have our Pearl Noir, Noir, I don't know how to say that. I know it's black, but <laughs> I can't say it that way. <laughs> it's one of those words. Definitely much darker than the other gray, so not much, but okay. So I'm gonna let that just kind of dry for a minute. I mean, it, it's just to see the colors, basically. It's nothing, nothing fancy. And then I'm gonna wipe off this board right here. Well, 
actually I don't want to do that yet because I'm going to play with some of these colors. I just want you to see when it so we'll use a little bit of this right here. And the really cool thing about gouache is that um, you can reactivate it. So unlike acrylic where once it dries on your palette, you know, it's that's done. You can't do anything else with it. But gouache, you can um, use water and reactivate it and it will behave, you know, like regular paint again. So... The only thing is, if you um, are drawing or, you know, making a painting, you might want to seal it so that, you know, it couldn't at a later date, you know, be messed up by like a droplet of water or something like that, or frame it in glass, that kind of thing, just to protect it. So you can see it will just get kind of more and more transparent the more water that goes into it until it's basically almost just still much more opaque than a watercolor for sure I think so um, but it's not the same see like this is entirely dry this gold right here was entirely dry but then when I put water in it and stir it up again. I'll add a little more water. Uh, yeah, definitely more opaque. And if you're using them like watercolor, I can see how they would go a very long way. Because that was just sort of the, you know, the dregs on my glass here. <laughs> so, definitely but still a lot more opaque than watercolor, I think. Let's try a, the blue. The blue is completely dry. So yeah, you can just reactivate it again. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't, I wonder if you put, like I have water here, I'm wondering if I put a color into it if it'll behave like watercolor where it bleed, you know, kind of bleeds out. Oh yeah, it does. Just like watercolor. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like when I touch it, it moved out into the other part of water there. So it does behave like watercolor in that way. Okay, so I'm going to take this off because I want to show you. Of course, it's had to stick to the paper there. So if you have a painting that's done, and this is dry down here, so that's the part we're going to play with. This is why you would want to seal it. Did I get so much pink in there left? That was my fault. So see how the gold is coming out like a watercolor. So that's something to be mindful of if you are um, painting a piece, like especially maybe a wood item, you know, you definitely would probably want to seal it so that just in case anything got on it, you don't have this happen. <laughs> so that's where it's a lot different than the acrylic, for sure, because acrylic won't do that. Once it's dry, it's, it's on there. So that is that. And I am going to um, put all that information in the description box below this video of where you can win your gouache, or I mean how to win your gouache. Uh, you'll get it from Arteza, they'll mail it to you. Um, but yeah, so if you like it or any of their items, this is their watercolor paper. I will also have a link to their the Arteza shop in the video below and where you can get these things like the scrapbooks and watercolor paper and 
the watercolor markers and all that stuff too in the description box below this video. I am a, an affiliate of Arteza. A lot of companies like BB Craft and um, In Love Arts Shop, those I'm not affiliated with, but I am affiliated with Arteza. So I do get a commission, a small commission from the sales of the items at no extra charge to you, the customer. So with all that legal stuff said, I hope you guys have an awesome day and um, I hope you like this. Gouache is pretty cool. I had never heard of it and I um, have been doing some research on it just because I knew nothing about it. So um, yeah, it's, it's really cool and I really like these pearlized ones because as they dry, you can see they're not, there's a tiny bit of iridescence to them, but they're not like screaming glitter or something. So I, I definitely like those. All right, I will let you guys go there. I hope you have an awesome day and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye now.